basically have a small tournament at our house. We split up our grass mat into a four by two four by four mats, and on this board it's the Tyranids mine versus the Dark Eldar. And we actually got a raider now, and it looks really nice. And there's a second one in the mail. It's really slow. Yeah, so we've got some more stuff in the mail. And on this side we have uh, my brother is playing with my chaos back there. He's playing with my chaos face marines, and his friend is playing with his IG. And for this match, it is uh, seize seize ground or capture and control. Which one? It's three objectives. Three objectives. Pitch battle. I'm I deployed first. He's deploying now. I got my Broodlord with 10 Gene Sealers going to infiltrate. Over there, it's Spearhead. Capture and Control. Capture and control. One here. One there. One here. Yeah. Where's the other one? Just one here. There's one there. Th that's it? Yeah. The capture and Control is two. Wow. Spearhead. Huh. Alright. And then for our objectives, there's one over there. The green marker. One there. And one on top of that tower. Under the... Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. See you af after turn one. All right. So I infiltrated the gene sealers there, and he sees the initiative, that and that sucks. So okay. See you at the end of turn one. All right. So after turn one, everything moved up. Gene sealers, all them. The Zonthrope shot and wounded the Talos. These Gaunts are up there now, holding the objective out of Synapse range. The Gaunts <laughs> move through the building up there, then over cover and assaulted the Reaver squad, then moved back because that uh, Raider's packing a flamethrower. And yeah, the Rippers are being a shield for the Carnifex. Alright. He managed to kill two Hormigants and one Termagant out of that squad. Alright, see you at the end of turn two. This sucks. Um, yeah, he unleashed firepower. Those guys are fine. Zone throw sitting there. The Hive Tyrant got killed by the Talos because that thing is ridiculous. Uh, forget how it killed me, but... Yeah, monstrous creature, no armor save. That helped. It had seven attacks on the charge. Yeah, seven attacks. So all that did not work. Hive Tyrant's dead. Very pissed off at that. The Gene Sealers got wiped out. Broodlord got into close combat, but couldn't sweeping advance him, so he's chasing them off the board. But he only has one wound left, so he'll most likely get gunned down. <laughs> the Hormigons took a hail of fire from this group here, and uh, they ran off the board with like three guys left. The Carnifex is moving up, no wounds on him. But yeah, the best I could hope for is the Broodlord doesn't die. And he gets up there and kills, chases that squad off the top. Yeah, that's what I can hope for. Talos is going to destroy my Zonthrope and most likely going to kill that squad. Ah, uh, yeah. That absolutely bites. So, yeah. Alright, see you at the end of turn three. Yeah. Turn two. He nearly kills my entire army. Fantastic. Alright. See you at the end of turn two. End of turn three, uh, Carnifex got into combat there, he is tying up the warrior squad that's on top of that objective, and the HQ, uh, squad, I allocated all the attacks on the HQ squad, and killed three of them, out of six, and so now they're, they, they're sitting there, they've, you know, passed the leadership, passed the leadership. so they're sitting there. Uh, Carnifex took no wounds. The Talos is charging over. The I tried to assault these Gaunts into it to slow it down. You know, hopefully they didn't all die so that they could stay in combat with it, keep it slow. But no, it, they they're running. They're gonna go running off the board. So yeah, I have a looks like how many are there? Looks like one, two, seven. Three, four. Yeah, There's seven, seven Gaunts in there. Eight. No, seven. There's seven gaunts in there.
Oh, wait. Eight. One, two, There's three. Nine. There's one, nine gaunts. Three, seven, okay, yeah, nine. There's nine gaunts in there. Three are going to run off the board and the Carnifex. But the gaunt squads have without number, so. I don't know, maybe by some constant repetitive bashing against the Talos, they can kill the Talos and just hold the objective, so. Who knows? We'll see. See you at the end of turn four. Alright, we're going to call it because we want to get more games in. He embarked some guys on the Raider and turbo boosted over here. Talos knocked these guys off, so he's going to hold that objective. Uh, Carnifex, if he had time, could tear through that one, but he wouldn't hold it, and nothing over there. So he'd win by holding these two objectives, and I'd just contest that. Alright, so we're going to do another game. Alright, so Dark Eldar wins.